Hello everyone, my name is Fungusen and welcome back to this Imperator Rome Purple Phoenix campaign. So, we just finished a war. Byzantium is looking pretty amazing, if I may say so myself. We need to sort out, well, only two trade routes. And I think if we can get dates, we can't, of course we can't. Uh, anything else? Oh, silk? No. Can't get anything we want. Not honey either. Oh, earthenware? Really? We're producing four, which are being traded. So this doesn't sound correct. How? What? Oh, did something get sieged down or something? All right, origin. Oh God. There's only two, but we're producing four. Okay, maybe it just needs to update. Let's ignore that for now. And I suspect that what we're going to see here now, and obviously I didn't take note on when it actually finished, but where are we? Divine sacrifices? No. Okay, on to the 3rd of October 56. Maybe they fixed that, or maybe I was just imagining things earlier. Anyway, uh, very well done. Um, what do we want? Olives we have, we have that. Archer discipline. I mean, we do run around with a lot of archers. Experience decay sounds slightly better, to be perfectly honest. Um, although dies, national noble happiness. Well, I'll start getting some dies in. <coughs> Excuse me, salt, we already have fish. Move slaves cost. We haven't really been looking at moving slaves. Oh, sheep we did have at one point. Well, let's go at you. Alright, step one sorted. Um, step two, finish all of this. Yes. Convert them. Sounds great. Sure. 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 Okay, so this is this region here. You need to be governed by either the Ascented or a Die. Let's have a quick look then. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, well, a Die already got five. The Ascented got way more prestige though. Who's in charge at the moment? Drenid. And Drenids are fine. Okay, so. Alright, let me just check here then. We are putting an Adaid in charge here. Sorry. Oh, terrible stats. Oh, no. Well, considering you are incredibly loyal, we'll go with you. Sorted. We gain stuff. Finish the mission. What can we get? Silicia. Um. Okay. Yeah, I mean, let's just go for it straight away. Don't see any reason to wait. The fort building. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen. Okay, free claims. Only problem is, obviously, we do have a truce now for another six years. But there are a few other options for us to go to war with. Uh, did we sort out you as our glorious subject? We did. Okay, fantastic. Right, decisions, no. You are coming back, we can ignore you. We do have plenty of money. 
And I do believe we have conquered some more stuff here that we should, you know, focus on building up. In the meantime, let's build you another aqueduct. And how are you doing? You probably need a couple of aqueducts as well. You're fine. And sure. So let's have a quick look here. Um, what did we conquer? We conquered this stuff around here, if I'm not completely mistaken. So, you have a farm, farm. Yeah, look at this rubbish. I mean, wh why? Why would we have that? We're not going to have that. Slave estate for you. Um... Is that it? All right, we'll keep that for now then. Mm. <clears throat> I am tempted to sort build some more buildings, but then again, I did have a quick look and it looks like we are going to have a whole bunch of new glorious inventions coming in soon. So I think we'll stick with the money for now. What we are going to do though is sort out trade routes. I swear to God, there should be some way to automate this. This is going to drive, well, me mad eventually. Right, you, I, I don't. <laughs> I just don't care anymore. Uh, I don't want internal ones. I want money here. Have some marble. It's just, I mean. And it, it gets worse the bigger you get, obviously. But then again, it's such a... I mean, it is... Trade is the majority of our income at the moment, so... Obviously, it wouldn't be if we ke didn't keep doing this, so it's, it's just... You kind of have to do it. But I, I honestly don't care what you're importing, though. Not to revolt. Yeah, you sound great. Elephants. There we go. Have some olives. Now I should probably focus on the highest value ones, but... You know, again... Okay, there we go. You can have that. That's from the silly kids, though, so that's probably going to disappear in like half a second. Uh, wine. Oh, come on. Someone must have something. There we go. Oh, you have five. Oh, come on. Uh, horses. Sure. Have horses. Have wood. No, don't have wood. Um, sure. Yeah, they'll already have some of these ones, but that's fine. Okay, there we go. Um, so we can't really go to war. I know I also mentioned in one of the previous episodes about having sort of a final boss. I mean, looking at it, the options we have are like Egypt and... Um, Rome. And Egypt is the one falling behind on tech at the moment, so I think we'll try and keep Rome around a bit longer. Because um, they'll be the ones that, you know, actually pose some form of challenge. We'll out tech Egypt before soon anyway. So that's fine. Right. We do have a claim on Cappadocia here, so we could just go to war with them. Your ally to Armenia as well, so we probably want to sort out some claims on you. Because we don't have... Oh, we do already have claims, okay. Well, in that case... Um, I don't really see any reason not to. So, march your asses up. Around here, and we'll go from there. 
Also, you are assigned to that guy. Alright, where's my navy? I will come and send these guys ashore at least, so they're not completely useless. Alright, I think that's it. Everything's looking good. We should look at fabricating some claims though. So, if you look at the missions, we are getting claims on which areas? Oops. So we are getting claims on... Let's check. This one. This one. And that one. Okay. We boarded them all. We could sort out more claims. Um, but I'm not sure whether that's worth it. Is there someone else we could fabricate on instead? I'm always a bit wary about fabricating on people that are at war. Uh, or um, having rebellions rather, not at war. It's not necessarily a terrible thing. Um, I think this is pretty much as high up as we want to go on this guy. Uh, if I remember correctly from having looked at the maps earlier. So we'll probably keep that as is. It's not really anyone I want to fabricate on. I guess we can start fabricating on you just for the sake of it. And we're not going to pay 102 to you know, keep going. Um, I mean, I could start fabricating on the, why not? I mean, we'll need it eventually, although we'll probably get quests for it, hopefully. Right, Rising Film Obscurity. Okay, we're getting a new family now. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Well, we're certainly not going to put a stupid Democrat in charge of anything. 3435. Three, well, unfortunately, he's the only one who's good. Um, you're super loyal. Yeah, let's put you in charge. A traditionalist like that. Ah, oh, that's because they are. Ah, oh, we have someone here as well. Ah, oh, he's pretty terrible as well. Propontic, Propontic. They're all of our culture anyway, so... Hmm. No, let's just go with this guy. So they are immediately whiny because they literally have no one in charge of anything. Well, you are pretty good. So, see if we can put you to work somewhere. So, which family can we lose people from? Uh, all of them at this stage. Okay, well, let's get to it then. So, you, my friend, will be replaced by this charming fella. Um, we have a smelly democrat here. I'm not too keen on that. I'm going to put another smell of Democrat in. Okay, you're all useless for that role. That's fine. How about... Well, I mean, I'm almost happy enough to replace this. It's sure. Ah, Democrat, come on. Is everyone in your family a Democrat? This guy isn't. Congratulations, you've been promoted. And let's just double check. We can always put someone in charge of the Navy because, I mean, it's the Navy. No one cares. Right, uh, here. 
Yeah, we can steal someone from each of them. So whoever's in charge of the navy, which is Drenid, that's fine. Sorry, but you are now going to be replaced by the absolutely most horrible character ever. Oh, actually, it's not terrible. There you go. And yeah, you're still going to go up there. Okay, fine. I'm pause. Splendid event, indeed. Also tempted to increase the uh, tyranny here. Ah. We do have some prisoners that we can do horrible, horrible things to. Like, what can we do with you? Execute people? Hmm, 15 ducats. <laughs> oh, we can... This is excellent. Smear reputation and then execute you. Ah, perfect. See, this will... Um, Drop our aggressive expansion down a bit. And the rest aren't too bad. I mean, slave output is giving us more money. It's all good. All good. Who else? How about you? You're a nation minor characters as well. Uh, smear your reputation. Oh, we can only do that once. Oh, we ran out. And then uh, execute you. Nice. Yeah. I mean, it's actually coming down quite quickly. Alright, um, who else? Well, as we can see here, now this means that aggressive expansion is dropping down by another 0 0.05 each month. So, who are you? You are... You are... Member of the Sum family? Foreign character from Byzantium. What? Imprisoned by Byzantium. I don't understand what this is. It's a rival of the king of Odrysia. It's an Odrysian minor character. Herm well, th this is not my family, so surely we can smear your reputation. Our traditionalists don't like that. It's about executing them. No, apparently they like it. Or like him. There we go. No one likes you though. There we go. One more. Good luck. I mean, it does change loyalty of characters a bit, but... Yeah, yeah. Asian minor character. No one will like you. Yeah, I expected as much. Oh, we can force convert you. For extra tyranny. And then execute you. I mean, this makes no sense whatsoever, but... Yeah. National point 10, dropping by point 0.46 each month. That is some tasty drop. Now, I do think that the actual... Um, drop we get from tyranny continues even while we're at war. I'm reasonably sure we checked that earlier, but obviously I have been known to be wrong in the past and the present and the future. Um, pay money for progress. I can do that. I will accept that part. Okay, so you are here. Doing your thing. You're on your way up there. You are there. Okay, you are here. So let's put you on, char uh, on shore. Oh, we're standing on top of each other. So I'm wondering, I, I was missing an army. It felt like I was missing an army at least, so. 
Well, oh, they're our subject. I'm sure they'll be fine. This five year old has the support of a number of other wealthy patricians from around our Byzantium and is widely considered to be the rightful heir to the fortune. I mean, you're super loyal, sure. We'll <laughs> take a hundred ducats from a five year old. Like stealing candy from a baby. Okay. So you're all fancied up here. I mean, how, how much do we need to wait? We probably should wait for the army to recover, but I am tempted to just go. You got 4k troops. Actually, you are the one who we will be mainly fighting. And you got 8k troops. You do have a tremendous amount of money, though. Right. Let's wait one month at least. Yeah, we'll see from there. How is the money situation? Uh, not excellent. We're paying way too much for our armies. Because we have way too many armies. Okay, you're on shore here now, so let's um, well, make you independent and then assign you to the region. And yeah, you destroy pirates, I guess. Okay, who's stolen something now? Eh. Right, more morale of armies. Yada yada, fort defense, army maintenance cost, and siege engineer. So these are good, both of those two. Uh, unfortunately, inventions are starting to get quite pricey. Which means we need to go to war to get money. Okay, I think we'll be good to go from here. And since we are lazy, let's just put all of you to be independent. Uh, you can be independent as well. Um, which means you are immediately running away. Well, once we actually start, once we actually declare the war, oh my god, stop, chill. Byzantium gains territorial local population happiness. Yeah, sure. Uh, I didn't check the things there, but it doesn't matter. Well, let's go. We've already gone down to 42 aggressive expansion, which is, you know, not where we want to be. Okay, there we go. All right, so you should turn around and actually start sieging things. Right. Right. Don't make me do this myself. It's an 8k stack. Okay, you are doing something. Meanwhile, let's go and siege down his capital. Well, Armenia's capital. Now, I suspect we're not now. We're not at war with the revolt now. We would have been at war with them if they had, uh, if the war had broken out after we had declared it. But that's okay. Right, that's going to be a smashing victory for us, which is excellent. And yeah. So this should be a nice and easy war. We'll see. I think we're looking at something like that according to the map. Um, what again? War score cost for 20 years? Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, we want to take all of these provinces, which is fine. And then we want to take probably more provinces, which is also fine. And in the meantime, we're just going to, you know, siege down all of this. Uh, uh, do 
do you have any more cities? I don't see any more cities. It means we should send you down here and see if you can see some of these using us down instead. All right. Um, but I think that's going to have to wait till the next episode. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.